Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. I make and sell rustic craft items, a lot made from pallet wood or recycled materials, and a huge amount of them booze based. Maybe it's one years in the pub and restaurant industry. So when coming up with a new product, it might not be a huge surprise to you that I've gone for a wine rack. I want it to hold four bottles of wine and then have slots underneath to hold four glasses. There are loads of examples of this done on Pinterest, but I thought I'd have my own go at it. When I have to cut multiple pieces the same length, I find it much easier to get one piece the correct length and then just set up a stop block so I can repeat the cuts instead of having to measure and mark each piece. Here I'm marking out where the four wine glasses will go, or the stems of them will go. With them marked out, instead of doing any measuring, I just join up the corners to find the centre point. Luckily being at a pub I have access to a lot of wine glasses. So I measured a few, and they have quite different sizes in stems, so I went for quite a large false in a bit, so I could accommodate most glass sizes. With the holes drilled, I just need to mark lines to cut slots for the glasses to slide into. With the slots cut, you can see the reason for last week's video. The spindle sander makes it much quicker cleaning up the inside of these grooves. Now that I'm happy with the design, I just need to get some different grits. I always have to do some finished sanding, but I find it much easier to sand the pieces before it's all put together. Then when it's finished, I can just come back and do a bit of hand sanding. This all goes together pretty quickly, with just some glue and some brads. The shelf goes in for the wine bottles, and then I just use a scrap of pallet wood as a spacer, so I can get the same distance gap either end. I seem to end up burning a lot of my pallet wood projects. I don't know if I really like the look, or I'm just a pyromaniac. I guess I'd better just let the courts decide. I quite often finish projects with some wax, but here I'm going to use a hard wax oil, as it's much harder wearing. I could have just stopped here, but there's nothing to stop the wine bottles falling out, and that would be tragic. So I cut down some 15mm copper pipe, slightly longer than the rack, and then I mix up a bit of epoxy just to glue these end caps on. The rail just gets held in place with some brass clips. No wine bottle is going to get harmed on my watch. And that's pretty much another boozy project done. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe for more videos.